Hi, I'm Stephanie from the Wild Birds Unlimited in, in Westchester, Ohio. I'm going to talk to you today about ways to attract finches to your yard. In Southwest Ohio, we see the American Goldfinch. Uh, the males are in the process of doing a complete molt right now in early April to a canary yellow with black wings. Um, they also get black on their forehead. Uh, their beaks become lighter, their feet become lighter. The females are an olive yellow green. Uh, they're kind of more drab and a lot of times the females want to stay uh, unseen when they're nesting and so the, you know nature has a way of protecting them in that way. Um, at Wild Birds Unlimited we have some awesome feeders and food to help bring them into your yard. They're in most uh, habitats in North America but they will come to seed feeders, usually in small flocks. Um, the first one I'm gonna show you is one with uh, small ports. So it's very specific to the seed because uh, the main seed that they are looking for is something that mimics the, the feed that they would find in nature. And it's Niger, which is a very tiny black seed that would fall out of most seed feeders. So these, as you can see, have very tiny ports. Um, this particular kind, you're, you're li limiting them to the number of ports that are here. Um, but you can also try a mesh feeder, so they will feed anywhere on this feeder, upside down, on the side, so it's really about which way you like to watch them eat. But the important thing is what are you putting in the feeder? So the first seed that I talked about is Niger. Um, even though it is so tiny, it's actually a, a, a shell on there that they will split and get the meat out of. And then if you're starting to see a little bit of a pile up, it's not the whole seed, it's actually the shell. Um, but this is a very high oil seed and that is what they're looking for. Um, you can also, at different times of the year, they might change to preferring the finch blend, which has very finely chopped sunflower seeds mixed in with the Niger seed. So if you're having a little bit of trouble um, keeping them attracted with just the Niger, you might try the Finch blend. Um, if you want a no mess way to feed them, you can go with straight sunflower seeds. Again, it's very finely chopped. Um, but you have to know that when you go with the sunflower seeds mixed in, it makes it a little more attractive to squirrels and to starlings. So if you're having problems with that, you wanna go with the straight Niger. Um, again, there's the mesh type. I, I prefer to have a weather guard on my mesh because if it rains, it can get wet. You also have a lot of, um, a lot of it is exposed to the air so it can dry easily. But with either one of these feeders, I suggest that you turn it upside down and shake it a little bit, maybe even every several days if it's a very rainy time of the year, um, but especially after a good rain because it can gunk at the bottom of the feeder and we don't want that. Um, the best part about our feeders is the quick release bottom that allows you to circulate your seed. You turn it upside down, you take the, the bottom off, and you're able to let the, the older seed fall to the top, and you're filling from the bottom so that you're never leaving the same old seed sitting at the bottom of your feeder. So that's a, a wonderful way. You know, not all feeders have that feature, and so we love that about ours. Um, also, the mesh feeders do have that quick release bottom. But another feature in this one is the Echo Clean, which is a silver ion embedded in all the surfaces that is released as it's needed um, when there's bacteria and molds. So especially with finch feeding, uh, something that people are aware of is that finches can get an eye disease that um, we want to keep them from getting it. So having something that's antimicrobial is very helpful. Other than that, you're going to want to um, use a 1 to 10 ratio of water and, and uh, Clorox. Basically, you know, one, one container of the, of the Clorox, a cup or, you know, whatever container you have, and then nine more of water. You're gonna use that to clean your feeder so that um, you're just getting rid of some of those bacteria and, and molds that we don't want our birds to be exposed to. About every two to three months, I would say. Um, something that uh, a lot of people who feed finches notice is that sometimes they seem to just disappear. And what, what we want to tell you about that is they, they don't migrate, but within our area, they do move in small groups to different feeding areas. So we want to make sure that our feeders are clean and that we have fresh seed. 
If your seed has been sitting out there for three to four weeks, it's probably time to dump that seed, clean the feeder really well with that 10% bleach solution, and then put fresh seed in it, and just be patient, just wait, um, because they will come back. Uh, so this is Stephanie at Wild Birds Unlimited, and we're happy to help you attract finches to your yard. Thank you.